What's up guys, Dane here, and welcome to episode 1 of my Iron Man series. I do have a stuffy nose or a cold or something like that, so if my voice sounds a little weird, if you hear me breathing into the mic or anything like that, then you know why. Also, some of you guys have been asking me, hey, what's your schedule, when are you uploading videos, when are you live streaming, things of that nature. The answer is, I don't have a schedule, this is just a hobby for me, I just kind of do things spur of the moment. If I feel like live streaming, I'll turn on the live stream, if I feel like making a video, I'll start commentating over a video, and that's pretty much it. I don't really like have a schedule, I don't say like I have to get 5 videos out per week or anything like that. I used to do that in the past, but I found myself actually getting burnt out on playing the game doing that, so I decided to just, you know, not stick to a schedule, just doing whatever I want, you know, whenever I want, however I want, and I think it works out pretty nicely. It makes it so that I'm enjoying what I'm doing, and you guys get some pretty decent quality content. But without further ado, let's get into Iron Man. So what is Iron Man? I've gotten a couple PMs from people asking me what Iron Man is. Iron Man essentially is single player RuneScape or single player PK Honor. You can't trade with other people. Uh, you can't use the GE. You can't do anything like that. You can't PK other players like you don't get the drops. Um, if another player is fighting a boss and you attack it or if you're attacking a boss and another player attacks it, you don't get the drop. So essentially it really is single player uh, RS. You're pretty much separated from the economy and separated from all player interaction as well which is really nice now obviously you can still see people you can still see what people are saying and everything uh, however the economic interaction i guess you could say is not there it's not existent so that's essentially what iron man is and really it's just more about it being more of a challenge you're totally self-sufficient you need to do everything on your own and you can't you know uh have the economy help you do that you can't use the ge whenever you need an item um you know if you need to do a quest like last journey in which you need full armadillo and full bandos guess what you're going to bandos and you're going to armadillo and you're going to get those drops until you know you get a full set and that's essentially what iron man's all about it's all about being self-sufficient and doing things on your own and not worrying about the co the economy being part of your backbone uh, which is something I really, really like, actually, because it's different. You know, you can play the game a little bit different. I've played the game for a long time, since 2010. And the economy ruins the game, to be honest. Because if I get a Draconic Visage drop, I should feel excited. But instead, I just say, eh, add it to the junk pile. It's not a big deal. And that's where Iron Man comes in, in which every single drop is a big deal. Even if I already have a DFS, even if I already have had a Draconic Visage drop, guess what? I can make that into a DFS, alk it, and get around 80 mil, which is really, really good. So, uh, now that we've explained Iron Man, let's get into the stats. Now, I haven't been playing too much, and I'm really trying to make it so I don't get burnt out on the game. I'm trying to have constant goal set and meeting those goals while not playing so much that I actually get burnt out on the game itself. So when I first logged in I decided I'm not going to do combat. I'm not going to worry about combat at first and instead I'm going to focus on doing skills. I did things like mining and smithing and then I turned and I did wood cutting and fletching and then crafting and then fishing and cooking. After I did fishing and cooking, I went to farming and herb lore and then agility and construction. That's essentially what I did. And the cool thing about Iron Man is that every single skill helps you in some way. And that's what I suggest doing. Instead of, you know, I see a lot of people, they immediately start doing combat. Don't do that. Don't do that. Go and do some skilling. Get your mining up, get your smithing up. You're going to need to have smithing and mining for a lot of skills, such as woodcutting to get that rune hatchet, such as construction, such as fletching. You know, a lot of these skills, you're going to need a lot of the other skills to make things more efficient. So essentially what I did was I mined. I got a lot of gold bars, got a lot of gold ore, got a lot of runite as well. And I made rune bars and I made gold bars. I then turned those gold bars into gold leaves for construction. And I turned those rune bars into 
That's right, I turned them into arrowheads and runite bolts for fletching. That way I had ammunition when I actually went PVMing, and it was good ammunition, it was rune. I then started doing woodcutting and I made myself a magic short bow. I then did crafting and got myself some black dehyde armor. So I had the basics. I had some rune armor if I needed it. I also had black dehyde, magic short bow. I had pretty much a whole set of gear pretty quickly and I could always go back to those skills if I ever needed anything else. I then moved on to fishing and cooking, which was incredibly, those two skills are incredibly good because now I have a huge stockpile of swordfish and shark that are going to pretty much, you know, I'm not going to need to go back and fish and cook for a long, long time. So I'm good there. Then I went and I did farming and herb lore. Herb lore is incredibly important and farming is as well because you need those herbs for herb lore as well. You can't just buy the herbs. But herb lore is really important because it makes you work a lot more efficiently. When you use potions like extremes or overloads, you're going to be able to finish that Barrow's run a lot quicker, which when it comes to Iron Man is a big deal because, you know, when you're doing things like Barrow's runs, you're looking for generally specific items. Like you're thinking, I need a crow's top, I need a crow's bottom. So if you can cut down every run by a minute by using overloads, that's incredibly important. Rune crafting, once again, you need to have runes, so do rune crafting. Construction, some people might be wondering, why do construction? Yes, it is a big gold sink and it's going to cost you a lot of GP. I'll talk about money making in a second. However, it's a really good skill. Your house, you can do a lot of skilling in your house. You can get magic trees in there, you can cook in there, you can do prayer in there, you can make planks in there. There's just so many things that you can do in your house. It's pretty much like a down payment. In your house, you can fix all your Barrow's gear. You can just do so much. You can make a dungeon and whatnot. So that even if you do perhaps, you know, have a down payment, I guess you could say, of 500 mil, you're going to make that money back slowly but surely because of all the extra little bits and tidbits of <laughs> whatnot that you have. Uh, so that's why I've been getting my construction up. Slayer, obviously, is just an overall good skill to have. I do, I would like to see more Slayer updates, but I am still like a little biased because I always want Slayer updates, but right now, it's totally fine. Uh, but on other servers I played, like Elotic, which was shut down a while back ago, uh, Slayer was a big deal, you know, it was a big money maker. But here, not so much, but I haven't really delved too deep into Slayer yet, so maybe it'll feel a little bit better on Iron Man. Um, but yeah, those are the skills, you know, get your skills up, really, get them up. Don't worry about prayer, don't worry about your combat at first, get your skills up, and then everything else will fall into place. It makes everything so much more efficient, and you're really going to find yourself needing those skills on Iron Man. You might have thought, you know, you know, if, if you play an RSPS, you can just like get your combat stats up and PK and PVM and never do a skill in your life. You really can because you have the economy to back you up. But on Iron Man, you don't have, you know, that, uh, you don't have that. You don't have the economy to back it up. You are your own economy. So, uh, just keep that in mind for sure. But without further ado, let's get into the bank. So here's the bank, uh, 129 million GP. Now, if I didn't get 77 construction, I probably have close to around 600 mil, maybe even a little bit more, because things like rooms, houses, mahogany planks, and gold leaves cost a lot of money. The butler in itself is around 200 mil, I believe. So construction really does cost a lot of GP, and that's something you need to understand when you get into the skill. Set yourself up. This is what I did. Whenever I started doing construction, what I do to make my money at first is I do rings of recoil and I'd always have 10 mil in my bank that I wouldn't spend on gold leaves or anything like that. So I could fall back on that because, <clears throat> excuse me, because gold leaves, let's actually take out the calculator. Uh, I don't know the exact prices, but rings of recoil uh, cost 450k if you're going to alk them sapphires i believe they're in the shop for 75k so if we do some incredibly basic math 70k you're making around 380k profit per 
ring of recoil. So if you do keep actually 10 mil in your bank, you can buy um, 10 mil divided by, sorry, it's a little, a little dark, divided by, what did we say they were worth? Like 75,000? I think that's about how much they're worth. So you can make 133 rings of recoil, which if we times that by 380K, uh, 390, whatever, yeah, that's only 10,000 extra, 52 mil. So you just turned your 10 mil into 50 mil just from doing rings of recoil. And so that's what I did. I kept 10 mil in my bank regardless of, you know, me thinking, oh, I really need that construction level. You know, I was just patient about it. Now, nowadays, the big way that I was making my money or how I'm making my money right now is I'm killing black dragons. Black dragons are an incredible way of making cash. And now that I've said that, I hope too many, not too many people go there. Um, but black dragons are a really good way of making cash because they drop dragon bones, which you can use for prayer, which is really important. You're going to need those uh, dragon bones. And they drop black dragon hide, which if you alk them, it gives you 450k per black dragon height, which is the same amount you get from alking rings of recoil except you don't have to pay anything for that black dragon height, which is a great deal not only that but they drop a lot of dragon items and rune items that you can elk as well per inventory of black dragons i get around five to eight mil which might not sound much in pk honor terms but on an iron man that's actually pretty decent not only that, but you get the chance of getting an uncut onks and the Draconic Visage, which is fantastic. So getting back into the bank video, I got a little sidetracked, but I did want to talk about ways to make money. So Rings of Recoil, really fantastic way to make money. Um, you know, just selling things to the general store. If you're, you know, doing your skilling and whatnot, check out the prices of the items that you've been acquiring in the general store. For instance, I have a large amount of coal. I didn't know that you could actually sell coal for like 15k a pop at uh, the general store so when i'm watching a movie or something i just mine coal and you know when i'm done mining or when i'm done watching the movie i'm like whoa i have like 4k coal like that's awesome i can sell that for a pretty hefty sum and it didn't even take that much interaction with the game but uh yeah gp and whatnot i got an abyssal head on my first ever abyssal demon kill and then two kills later i got an abyssal whip which is pretty awesome moving on to the runes tab pretty basic you know just your basic runes this is my herb lore slash farming tab i have the all the little seeds and whatnot that i normally use all the potions and whatnot this is my extreme uh overload type set area where i make my super potions and i make my extreme potions and whatnot it's a little messy right now but you know we're working with what we have Moving along to my other skilling area, I have a lot of gold bars that I need to turn into gold leaves. As I said before, I have a lot of coal. Usually I just sell the coal because I don't really need rune bars at the moment. Uh, just made it look pretty with the runes and, and, or not the runes, with the gems and whatnot. Because, you know, you get a lot of gems, so I wanted to make it look uh, pretty nice. And this way you actually know what you're getting and where to put them and whatnot. Scrolling down, it gets a little messy. 557 dragon bones, lots of food, and uncut oxes, uh, gold leaves, you know, the whole shebang. And finally, the gear tab. So, I've been doing a lot of barrows. I've been getting a lot of barrows brothers for slayer tasks and whatnot, so I just do barrows runs. Uh, haven't gotten too lucky. I did alk about probably like five to six different pieces of gear that I just knew I would never use, like Aram staff and things of that nature. Um, but this is the basic gear, you know, the Amulet of Fury, the Amulet of Fury, and the Draconic Visage Dragon Fire Shield, uh, Abyssal Whip, etc. So, you know, pretty basic gear. I feel like I'm doing pretty decently on Iron Man. I'm not really, like, trying to do super well or race or get the most XP or anything like that. I mean, I only have 337 mil XP. Uh, there's people like Iron Punani, which he might be on. Is he... No. Oh, did I not? Where is he? I know. Do I not have him on my... Yeah, this guy. There's people like Iron Punani who just have been playing a whole bunch. He has 122 hours played on Iron Man. Um, 
it's been out for like a week and he already has 122 hours so some people have been playing pretty hardcore but uh, I've been just sitting back relaxing enjoying the show not really trying to play too hardcore or anything like that lots of people are trying to race you know get the most XP the most Iron Man XP get the first you know full bando set full armadillo set and whatnot but I'm just taking it slow beginner's guide and whatnot so I hope you enjoyed the video guys, if you did, tap that like button, and I might not have sounded super excited today, but uh, I'm just trying to chillax, you know, I'm just relaxing. Um, I'm not like depressed or like sad or anything in this video. Now that I'm like hearing myself talk, I'm like, hmm, maybe they're gonna think that I'm in a bad mood. I'm not, I'm just chillax and relaxing. It's, uh, it's late at night, so, you know, being nice to the neighbors, not trying to shout or anything crazy like that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button, and that's about it. Peace.